drone mapping isn't always about flying. It's also about walking. You gotta have a good GCP. Welcome to GM6 Drone Mapping. This is episode four in a series. We've been asked by the project manager of the construction site that we've been mapping to create an updated contour map. The only way to do this accurately is with GCPs. This is important and valuable at this stage of the construction project since the contour of the land affects watershed and structural stability as the foundation is built. In this episode, we're going to cover GCPs, contour lines, and GIS. So let's start with the basics. GCPs, or ground control points, are important because they give the project scale and orientation. This allows us to make accurate measurements. Then we'll discuss contour lines and how they relate to drones in construction. And finally, GIS, Geographical Information System which allows us to analyze the data that we create in PIX4D. In PIX4D's BIM solution, there's an option to upload a CAD image that you can overlay onto the map. I'm going to show you how to create contour lines and overlay them on the map where the CAD file goes. First thing I do in the BIM desktop is create a project. When you import the images, the software will read the geotags and create a file called an EXIF file. That also allows the pictures to be placed in the correct position on the earth. After I have uploaded the images, I then pick the correct GPS coordinate system for the GCPs that have been created. The default coordinate system that's used in many cases is called WGS-84, World Geodetic System 1984. This is important because the GCPs are normally recorded in a different system. Fortunately, PIX4D has dozens to pick from. After I pick the correct coordinate system for my GCPs and output files, I'm ready to select the parameters I need to process my project. I like to create my own template for my projects so in step one, I leave it at default, which is full image resolution. Step two, I leave the point cloud at half scale and leave the output files for the point cloud unticked because it takes longer to process and I don't need the point cloud for this project. Step three, in the DSM or the mosaic tab, I leave this at default settings. Next is the additional output tab. I don't need the grid DSM, but I do want to check the geo tiff box because I want to build my contour lines from the roster DTM file. I leave the roster DTM resolution at the default settings of five times the GSD, which is ground sampling distance. And then I check the box for a PDF file. I then set my base elevation for my contour spacing and resolution. Then I leave my vertices at 20. That's the number that represents the width of the contour lines. Click OK. After all that's done, untick steps 2 and 3. I first run step 1. Then after step 1 is complete, I will come back and add my GCPs. Okay, now that step one is complete, I'm going to add my GCPs. First thing to do is go to the project tab and click on that and then go down to GCP manager. You click import GCPs and then navigate to wherever your text file is. Double click that and then click OK. Once those populate here in the box, we're going to go down to Basic Editor. Now, there's more than one way to add GCPs, but this is the way that I like to do it. It seems to be easier for me anyway. So I'll first click on 
the first GCP at the top. This little box on your left are the images where your GCPs should be. Now you may occasionally find a picture that doesn't have your uh, mark in it for your GCP. That's okay, you just go to the next one. You need a minimum of three images with a GCP located in order to process that point. So I'll go over here and scroll down and click on it. And I'll click on the next picture, scroll down, click on that one. And I will just continue to go through here and do this. And I may do it five to eight times, just depends. And then you go to the next GCP up here in the top, click on it, and then do the same thing over. And go through, in my case, I'll go through five of them. And then uh, when that's done, I'll just click OK. And you can see that the GCPs are not lined up with the points. The way to fix that is go up here to the top again to the Process tab. Click on Reoptimize, then click OK. And that should take a few minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. And then when that's done, it should look like this. So after they're optimized, now they're in the correct location and altitude. So that looks good. So next you will untick step one, so we don't redo that one. And then tick the box for steps two and three and hit start. Now steps two and three are done. So we'll close PIX4D and open QGIS, which is an open source version of GIS. Then go up here to the Layers tab, then Add Layer, and Add Roster Layer. From there you'll navigate to your folder where you have your project uh, saved. So we'll open that and then go to DSM Ortho Extras and DTM. And I'll select the TIFF file for this project. First thing I like to do is go over here on the left hand side, double click to enter the attributes table. I'll turn mine down about halfway just to change the uh, transparency. So you can see it's lighter. Then go to View, all the way down to Panel, and Toolbox. Here you can search for any tools you need. So the first thing I need is the uh, Contour. So I'll double click that. Brings up your Contour box, and I need one foot interval. So I enter one, hit Run. And this will take anywhere from a few seconds to minutes, depending on your computer speed. Close this out. And I'm going to change my contour colors by clicking on the attribute table on the left-hand column there. And I'll go to the drop-down box to show labels. And then label with, I want the elevation. And then next, I'll go to Style. I want black for contour lines. Click OK. Click OK again. And you can see the contour lines, and they'll populate with the numbers that will show the uh, elevation for each line. All right, so there you have it. There's how you create the contour lines. You can see the uh, elevations over here. There's, there's ways that you can decrease the amount of numbers showing, but for now, just leave it at that. And then one other little tip I like to use is I will go, I'll go back into the layers, add layer, roster layer, 
This time I'll go to DSM, Ortho, and Mosaic. And then double click on the TIFF file in the Mosaic. And you can see here it uh, shows the actual Ortho Mosaic. Now, you don't see the contour lines because you want to be sure to drag the label, the name, below the contour label so that it'll show the lines and it'll populate again with the elevations. And then I'll turn off the other label because I don't need that any longer. And now what I'll do is go to Project save as image then I'll go back to my folder where all of the files are stored for PIX4D and save this. I will go into my projects that I have loaded in PIX4D BIM and right here on the left hand side you'll see it says CAD overlay so you can click on replace and as you can see I have numerous other files here so I'll click upload go into the file where I saved that image hit open and it will upload so then can check the box and as you can see there's the file I don't believe this was the original purpose for this feature but it works quite well so all you have to do at this point is just line it up and make it fit properly and then you're good to go once that's lined up you can save it and share with your client